Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Uh, today we're gonna talk about e-bikes. So in particular, this one here, this is my bike now. Uh, it's a 2020 Marin Nail Trail E1. I got this bike because uh, my personal bike actually is broken. Uh, the uh, My Cannondale, more on that later. So e-bikes have been around for a while now and I know some people some people love them uh, and some people are hate them and they want them to be dead. We're not going to go into that debate today, but I want to tell you about mine and why I think it's pretty cool and why I really love uh, riding this thing. So, so just to talk about some of the features of this bike. So, like I said, it's the Nail Trail E1. These run for $3,359. Uh, they, uh, full disclosure, I sell Marin, so yeah. And so this bike has been so much fun. Like, I love riding it. Uh, it's heavy. It's super heavy. Ooh, it's like 48 pounds. Uh, something like that. So anyway, I'll talk to, about some disadvantages of it, but... Okay, so let's talk about some of the features of this bike. Up front, you have the RockShuck Recon RL, 140 millimeter boost version. So you have through axles, uh... I enjoy the shock. It's uh, it's it's been pretty good. Uh, obviously, there's better shocks out there, but uh, as far as a beginner rock shock fork uh, to keep the price where it is, I think uh, I think it works well. Um, up front, you have 780 millimeter bars, so super wide. I need to cut these down because they're just too too wide for uh, the trails we ride around here. Uh, here you have the Shimano system, the steps. I'll talk about that in a sec. Dropper. Uh, Ricky Bobby stem cap, that's that didn't come with it. Uh, this is your computer, I'll talk about that. Your shifter, uh, you have Dior shifter, it's a 10 speed. So back here is your cassette, you have a 10 speed cassette, 46 tooth uh, Dior rear derailleur, uh, lots of range, obviously you have a motor, so you have the range if you need it, but you also have this, which helps because, yeah, it helps you go over everything. So here, down here is the, uh, you have their cranks. Yes, it's missing a cap here. I'll explain why on that in a sec. Uh, what the heck just happened? So, that's not good. Okay, so regarding the crank, it fell off because it was not torqued down properly. Uh, whenever I got it, I usually check everything and I was, in, I was excited, I was in a hurry to get out there. So I didn't check everything and I, that's why it fell off. Uh, there's some Loctite on here and you also have to torque it down. So I didn't torque it down, it fell off. Uh, the other side also fell off a few days later. So now I've torqued them down and I haven't had any issues, but there's a lot of torque on these cranks with the motor. So I would recommend uh, checking them periodically to make sure because obviously if it falls off when you're on the trail, um, yeah, you make sure you have a multi-tool with you. Here you have your Shimano E8000. It's a mid-drive motor from Shimano. Here is your battery pack. Uh, some manufacturers are trying to hide the battery pack, uh, which like this Evo here, they try to hide it pretty well, which eh, whatever, it's fine. Uh, I honestly don't mind it. Some people want it to look like a normal bike and not be like, oh yeah, that's an e-bike, there's a battery. I honestly don't really care, um, whatever, the battery's there. The Trans-X uh, dropper, and I'll talk about some issues that I've had with that so far. These tires, so these tires are huge. They're 27.5 by 2.8. Um, they are tubeless ready. I haven't converted them to tubeless yet. I've been meaning to, I just haven't had a chance. But these things grip really, really well. So yeah, it's crazy how much grip you have with these uh, plus size tires. You got boost in the back, 148 millimeter in the back. And if we bring it around, ugh. okay, bring it back on this side, you can see the brakes. Uh, huge rotors, 203 rotors, uh, front and then the rear actually. And then you have the Shimano MTU one so yeah, pretty standard two piston brakes in the front. They work pretty well. Uh, the rotors definitely help to stop this thing. Obviously, if you're watching this, you should know what an e-bike is. If you don't, uh, this is a pedal assist e-bike. So it doesn't have a throttle. Uh, you have, um, it has keys. So it has these keys, but it's not to start it. Uh, the keys are actually for this battery here. If you want to, if you stop somewhere 
you don't want any uh, youths or uh, some uh, some punks to steal it you can somehow hang on there we go you can unlock it here and you can pull it out but anyway and that goes back in here watch your fingers I've already smashed mine trying to get it in there you go all right but you don't need the key to start it it has push button start ooh so you hit that thing there and that turns on this display here Shimano steps so here you have your uh, computer that you can go through and you have your normal computer stuff distance uh, I guess, guess I've ridden 47 miles so far uh, or no 126 miles you can configure this gives you a range I'll talk about that time so basically all your computer sec your computer functions that you would have and or if you hit up button so right now it's off if you want to go you got to pedal um, and you're just pedaling a super heavy bike but you go like that and that goes into eco mode you can see that so that's eco mode uh, that gives you a little bit of assist trail mode gives you a lot of boost uh, you're going off road you just it's and then you go into boost mode which is my personal favorite uh, it gives you a ton of boost at uh, really low RPM so if you're pedaling just a little bit this thing will move and uh, I'll show you some videos in a sec on that Ooh, holy cow this thing moves <laughs> I'm in I don't know what I'm in uh, if you need to walk you can just hold down this thing I didn't someone had to show me this I didn't know but you hold it down and then you can walk if you get yourself in a situation and need some additional uh, help it's got the dropper oh, the dropper I need to adjust because it's oh come on all right I got to work on the dropper because... okay so the dropper I need to work on the issue with it is uh and it's probably my issue but over here is where it comes routed down and up under here and then it makes a sharp turn and goes back up it's really tight in here and the cable is just if you want to move it you basically have to take this off slowly give it slack so it's a real pain to get up and down okay so let's talk about some pros and some cons about the nail trail e and see if maybe you should buy one or not uh, some pros for one it's a lot of fun uh, like i said at the beginning i've had a ton of fun on this thing uh, every time a customer comes in and they ask about it i have them write it because it's something that's difficult to explain until you ride it. That torque vectoring that when you when you pedal and you get that assist and it just keeps going, the more you pedal, the harder it goes. Uh, it's, it's something you have to experience and it is really fun to ride. Okay, another pro is you can ride for a lot longer. Uh, a lot of times when we go out on the trails, we're limited by our bodies and how far we can actually ride, how much time we have and just how much energy we have. With this, you can go for a lot longer. You can explore a lot more places you may not have been able to. And it gives it opens up a whole new possibility for your mountain bike riding. Just to talk about the, uh, the Shimano system, the E8000. Uh, there's other systems out there from other manufacturers, from Bosch, and uh, there's a couple others. But So Shimano did a good job on it. And uh, yeah, I, I haven't ridden any of the other systems yet, but... So far, I'm impressed with this system. So some of the cons with the bike. Uh, for one, yeah, it's a, it's a hardtail. So obviously, hardtails are fun. I like hardtails, uh, but at the same time, there's times where I'm like, especially because you're going so fast, that I wish it had a little bit of squish back there. Uh, just because it can, yeah, it, you, have to, you have to learn how to adjust your riding style. So it goes really fast, but it can be a little bumpy in the back. So another con obviously is the weight. It prevents you from riding uh, the way that maybe you're used to riding. Uh, you're not going to be jumping as much and it's uh, so yeah it, it affects the handling of the bike. So I would say that could be a con as well. Uh, another con maybe with the bike is just the how the cable is routed for the dropper. Um, that could be improved. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how but it would be nice to be able to adjust it a little easier. Maybe it's my issue. I don't know. So who's this bike for? Who's gonna who's gonna buy this bike? Uh, obviously, it being three thousand dollars, it's not just something you most people can just say, "Hey, yeah, I want to buy it as a second bike or a third bike." Uh, but 
if you're someone that maybe has an older mountain bike and they want to start riding again and you're maybe you're older physically and you can't necessarily do everything you used to be able to do but you want to get out in nature and get exercise this would be a great option for you uh, that's the great thing about e-bikes is that they uh, they get a lot of older people into the sport that otherwise maybe not maybe would not have been able to and so also those with disabilities physically if they can't pedal or if they just have issues uh, being able to physically be on a bike so as I mentioned uh, people love riding this thing and here's a couple clips to show uh, when my wife and my my dad rode it and she is trying to e-bike out for oh, the first God, time nothing. huh nothing easy nothing. what do you think sure goes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, don't crash. Oh, look at you go. I wish I had more clips of people's reactions, but every time people ride it, they come back smiling and like, wow, that is really cool. So that sums up this first video on the, my first impressions on the Marin Nail Trail E. Uh, thanks for watching. If you want to support our channel, if you could please like this video, subscribe to us, it would help us out a lot. And also, if you want to add your comments on if you have an e-bike or if you have any questions for me, if you're in Houston, you want to come check it out, come swing by the shop. You can take it for a spin and see what I'm talking about. And uh, so, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.